M0 FXP. Welcome to my videos on the Yaesu 817818 and today we're looking at Omni Rig. On the left here we've got two boxes. One is called the client and the other one is called Omni Rig settings. And if you look here at the settings drop down there's lots of other radios you can use Omni Rig with. But today we're on the Yaesu 817 and we have selected COM5 and we're using board rate 9600. Now this might mean nothing to you. So I'll explain to you. On the back of the Yaesu 817 and 8, there are two connectors that are marked. One here is marked data and one marked is ACC. The ACC one here has an eight pin connection and this is for cat control plus a lot more. The one on the left has data and that's audio in out and more. You can buy two separate cables and one of them is just here and that's your eight pin cable there. And most of the time people will use a USB at one end. So that's your two cables. You've got your cat cable and let's call the other one the data audio cable. And OmniRig uses this connection to control the frequencies and control your radio. You do need to set the board rate. So if I just hold down the menu, navigate to menu 14, just with the left knob here, and you can see it says cat rate. Now, this is used for you know hundreds of different programs. So at the moment, I've set 9600. There's 38400 and there's 4800. So I've left it at 9. 600 and then we hold down the F to save and exit back to our normal screen. The cat rate is basically the speed. The COM port number is the connection to your PC. So if I go right click on my Windows PC, right click the Windows squares, go device manager, here this window appears. Then you've got ports, double click and it shows what USB items are connected to my Windows 11 PC or 10 and you can see here it says prolific USB serial com 5 and if I just click that right click it and go to properties just and then go to port we can see that's also set to 9600 but we can change that but you do need everything to match when you're using different software so next thing is to download Omni Rig. I'll provide the link, but it says here Omni Rig. Okay, so click that, and I would extract everything to one folder. So, what I tend to do is open a new folder, rename it, and then when I click the download, and it shows here in your download folder, click that, then click Omni Rig, and then you get this new window appear. And when that appears, hit click extract at the top and then find that folder you created and send it there. If you don't know how to create a folder, all you do is find a space on your desktop anywhere, right click on your mouse, then go new folder. And it gives you the option to name it, give it a name. Yeah, so you can just type there 817 or whatever you want. I put 777 there and just click again and that's an empty folder and you can extract everything to that. So OmniRig looks like this. It looks like the, let's go to the OmniRig one, like this. It's the smaller one of the two. So in that I've selected my Yaesu 817 or 818 plus look at all these other radios and my COM5 and 9600 and I just click OK. Yeah and after it's all it's connected. It's now picked up the frequency on my radio and how do we view it? We view it using the OmniRig client which is this and we can see there and if I change the frequency on my radio like so, there's a bit of a delay but eventually that the software will pick up that I've changed the frequency. And you'll notice that my client, my little small window went missing, look, click here, look up here, open dialogue. So that means that there's two downloads because we downloaded OmniRig, which is now here. Remember, we can control more than one rig at a time. So I could grab my other rig. I've got an ICOM 7000 here, 71000. I could go down there, go to 7 ICOM. Cool, there's a lot in there. Um, let's do a 7800, anything will do. COM3, different 
speed and, and providing it is connected yeah we'll be able to control that one as well but we're using rig one and most of the time you'll use rig one okay rig one is there and it all everything you're doing on that radio is here so you're going to need to download the omni rig client which is on the left but don't worry about that because it's nice and easy because i'm going to provide you the link so just here on the right it says omni rig client so you just click that exactly the same extract it to that folder just like before so if you actually look at my folder inside my folder here we've got the omni rig setup which ended up being my smaller omni rig window and then the client and you just double click it and the client opens but we've already got it open so i don't want to open it twice so i'll provide the links for you have a little play connect it to a couple of your radios um, hopefully you've got the right cables and then you'll think well, why do i need it well you'd be surprised if you're going to experiment with different kinds of programs a lot of the time they're going to ask you to connect to your radio and i have found that the quickest way and the way that is most reliable is actually having omni rig in between when you try and go direct to the radio it does work most a lot of the time it doesn't work every time it can be very glitchy well once you've gone with omni rig i don't know why it irons out the bugs there is another program called fl rig that does a very similar thing it actually looks like this it's, it's you know it's quite a sophisticated advanced program and it's free and it works in a very similar way again you need the right cable to read you need the right settings so let's just show you that one working just for fun while we're here so you can download it at a link called source forge here you just download fl digi okay i'll put the link in click and run and i've already booted mine up and then the connection process if you look on the left here once it boots up you can see you've got configure here go down to the xcvr and then look you can select rig and then com5 and then board rate exactly the same and then you click INIT just here see that there INIT and then it just connects and you can see I'm connected to the rig now 434 350 at the moment and you can make this your in-between program as well so 434 let's go down to 550 where my node is Four, three. there you go you can now hear it And remember, this is a free program. So yeah, it's sounding good on, on Hubnet there. See if we can get HF in there. Now there are other buttons you can select actually. Look, sliders, there's buttons here, A and B and split. Other. So I think we might have to load more details to make better use of this. But you go back to main and just go to the actual frequency. Let's see if this works. Just playing around as usual. Change it to the LSB. There you go. So you've got, you know, it's free, you've got full, not full, you've got some rig control. You better, the conditions aren't very good today. And it's, this one's called FL Rig. Thanks for watching my channel. The main thing is uh, just getting acquainted with the different 6-pin and 8-pin cables that you can use with the 817, the connectors on the back, and the different, some of the different software. Bye for now, 7.3.